Hi there. Now for this question then, we were given f of x equals this cubic expression here and told that when f of x equals 0, x equals 5 was the solution and asked to find all the solutions then to f of x equaling 0. And as you can see, those solutions are then x equals 5 or you've got the complex numbers x equals minus 2 thirds plus or minus 1 third i. Now, I'll take you through this just in case there were any problems. We know that x equaling 5 was the solution to f of x equaling 0. So that meant that x minus 5 must be a factor then of f of x. So I've said that f of x is identical to the factor x minus 5 multiplied by a quadratic factor here. I already know the x squared term has to be 9 x squared because x times the 9 x squared would give us the 9 x cubed. And for the constant at the end, it had to be a 5 because minus 5 times 5 gives us minus 25. What we need to find is the x term and I've called it plus bx for the time being. And we can work this out very easily just by say comparing coefficients of x squared. If you do that, you're going to get an x squared term when you multiply x with the bx. So you're going to have bx squared. So the coefficient would just be b. You'll get another x squared term when you do minus 5 times 9x squared. That will give me minus 45x squared. So we've got the coefficient then minus 45. And that's got to total minus 33 here x squared. So I've written that coefficient there, minus 33. And from this you can see that b equals 12. You don't have to compare coefficients of x squared, you could compare coefficients of x. I'll leave that to you to just check out. You should still arrive at b equals 12. Or alternatively you could get that quadratic factor just by dividing this cubic expression here by x minus 5. OK, so once you've got that quadratic factor there, we know that if f of x equals 0, that would lead to x minus 5 equaling 0, or this quadratic expression here equaling 0. Now, being on a paper like this, it's got to be a complex number question. So that kind of gave me a clue anyway that this was not necessarily going to factorise. Um, so I've used the quadratic formula and using the quadratic formula indeed we get the square root of a negative number the root of minus 36 which then breaks down to plus or minus 6i and so when you put this all together you can divide top and bottom here by 6 and you end up with minus 2 plus or minus i all over 3 but I've given the complex number in terms of the real part and the imaginary part. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can see your way to that answer if there were any problems.